Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to be doing another in between 0.5 episode and I plan to do these from time to time. If you're looking for heroics, there's no heroics in this one. It's just going to be me showing the evolution of my setup. Um, moving forward from, from here on forth, uh, you're going to see me using more healing spells finally and maybe some other spells some other stuff going on here like there's these buttons here that i'll explain in a minute um just some things and that's what this video is here it's here to cover that so when you watch the next episode with the next heroic you're not like oh i didn't see that in the in episode one you know what happened you know so that's what this is going to be about it's going to be really exciting i've got this uh got this list to go over this is what i've implemented so far i've changed up a lot of the things on the priest I've added a bunch of spells like Paramending, Circle of Healing, finally implementing more mouse wheel stuff, getting all of that straightened out. Uh, the Paladin has all of this as well. Finally, he can cleanse, lay on hands. Um, Eternal Flame finally works. I don't know if you noticed in one of the old and uh, one of the prior episodes, I'm trying to use Eternal Flame. I'm clicking on the frame and... I'm saying this isn't working. I'll have to troubleshoot this later. Well, there was there was no macro written in there, so no wonder why it wasn't working. Mystery solved. But um, so we've got priest healing, uh, melee follow button. Okay, let's um, let's bring them out here real fast. Let's kind of set this up. <clears throat> so uh, let me just break follow on everybody. I'm over here. And uh, I can get just my melee characters to follow me. And that's nothing, this is nothing groundbreaking by any means. But I needed this because when I park my ranged casters and, and my other those characters, when I park them in the distance, I want them to stay there. You know, I probably want them to stay there. Problem is we're fighting a bunch of stuff here up front and then all of a sudden, you know, interact with target and melee combat, that all breaks follow. So if I need to get out of the way of something, I need to hit, you know, follow like this. And then all of a sudden my range start moving in. It's like, oh, Jesus Lord. And then it's a big cluster fill in the blank from there. So now we've just got a, uh, now we've just got a, a melee follow button so I can keep my range where they belong. Uh, fancy heals, yes, and the AoE heal, circle of healing, very fancy. Um, to say the least, these buttons here, is that, um, you'll see the paladin in action. I haven't tested any, I haven't tested all of this out yet in a heroic, so we'll see how quickly I adapt to this. I will be testing out before I record the next heroic, so that I am fairly familiar with what I'm pressing <laughs> the druid i still need to implement rebirth i would really like to have a battle res um available to me when bad things happen uh priest healing melee follow shaman menu button so toying with some experimental menu buttons over here i can finally finally i i, I what i did was i pulled the icons from the mpq files uh of world of warcraft i took them into um photoshop to kind of mimic the mask skin that I've currently got on my action bar buttons. So I kind of darkened the edges a little bit, gave them a little bit of a vignette, and uh, rounded off the edges a little bit. So not a big deal. You don't have to be a Photoshop pro to do that. Go to YouTube. It's a secret. That's where I learn everything. Anyway... Finally, she can use reincarnation when she dies. I don't need to flip to her screen to click the button anymore. I don't need to flip on repeater and, and try to look at her screen and line up the little cursor and hope that I click it and not screw everything else up. I can finally just click this button. I've already tested this button, so I know that this button does work. <laughs> uh, same thing with heroism or bloodlust for you horde players. You click that, bam. Good to go. I've had that forever, and I haven't used it. We're slowly implementing things, just put it that way. Okay, so now we've got all those fancy buttons put in. Paladin stuff. Okay, video effects AOE. <clears throat> I'm 
this is pretty fancy. I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty excited about this this new stuff I've set up here. Um, so let's say we're fighting a boss. We're fighting a boss right here. Everything's going well, and then it's a boss that I don't know, and he drops this big AOE thing on me. I'm like, oh shit! Everyone's gonna die. Should I just start casting flash heal and bubbling people, or? Should I bust out my brand new AOE ground targeted heal? Oh, just like that. Just like that. Very fancy. Very fancy. Now, the video effects button, this button right here, it's on cooldown, so there's no... She didn't cast the spell, but I can still bring up the window. It's a little jumpy. I, I, that's by design um, because it's a live feed from the other window. And I needed to revamp my window layout to use DirectX nothing. This might start going over some people's heads, uh, but I'm just saying, I'm just going to speak in Icebox or lingo because it is what it is. If you need help with it, you can say, Mariah said this and this and this, and it'll all make sense to someone who knows what I'm talking about and can help you out. So if I hadn't changed my layout and used the DirectX nothing, uh, DX nothing window, then this would be pixelated. I, I would still be able to use it, but I didn't like the pixelation. I wanted it to be nice, clean, and clear, so I changed my layout. It was kind of a pain in the ass, but I changed my layout. Visually, it doesn't look different, but it's a little different. So I've got that. I've also got the, uh, I also implemented this for, whoops. Okay, well, we'll cast this again. I cast the wrong thing. I also did this for the mage right here so I can use Blizzard. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know how much I'm going to use Blizzard. I don't know how much damage it really does. If it's really useful in AoE situations, I might start using it a lot. When I implement a Warlock into my second team, he'll be able to use Rain of Fire like this. I can also use Healing Rain if I wanted to with the Shaman like this. <clears throat> so all of the AoE targeted stuff uh, like this, I can use. Now, I opted for the window. Mm, hold on. Let's see. There, okay, so I opted for the window. Because if I didn't have this little window, little video effects window viewer going on here, I would have to take my focus off of my main screen and look at the tiny little screen in the bottom there. And I was testing it out, and I was like, man, this is going to be awkward and weird because... If the range are at max distance, they're probably not even at max distance right now, but if they're at max distance, that's going to be pretty far away. If you look down at screen number four at the bottom, it's like, uh, am I there? Am I getting in all the ads? You know, Am I hitting everything with the circle? I don't know. So I turned on the video effects view, and I really liked it. So hopefully it's going to work out well. I think that's it. Um, yeah, Paladin can finally do some mouse over stuff. Whoops. Let me get the hell out of the way of this. Paladin can finally cleanse people without having to click on them. Cleanse the... Yep, just like that. Flash shield's still working. Still got the double freedom going on here. Uh, what else can he do? He can do lay of hands. Oof, just like that. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Finally, no more excuse to not use lay of hands. Lay on hands. Sorry. I always, always say it wrong. So this is what you're going to see moving forward. Hopefully you like it. If you have any questions... Don't ask specific questions in the YouTube channel. It's not the place for support. Bring it to the ISBoxer forum, the ISBoxer IOC channel, dual-boxing.com, whatever. Take it to a forum. Take it to where other people can help as well. So thanks for watching. Next episode will be a heroic. Which one yet? I'm not sure. I'm not giving away any. I'm not giving away anything. It's probably going to be boring, though. But thanks for the support. Thank you for watching. Hope Everyone is liking this so far, and I'll see you in the next episode.